And that's one of the that's one of the small ones there. And we'll go ahead and take this one off. And we'll just leave that spring hanging there. It's really, I'm not going to, I'll just go ahead and shoot this with some carb cleaner. And uh, just clean it up real good. But I'm just going to leave that spring hanging on there. So we'll know it. we don't have to mess with it. And we'll just leave it on there. Okay, this is one of the other things you have to pay attention to. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, it's like the pivot point for the, uh, float in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this, pull this out. And then we'll remove that and it'll come out. And there's only, uh, you know, just, just pay attention to the way it goes in. And it's just, uh, just a pivot point. It just lays in there for that, for the, uh, float to pivot on go ahead and throw that and here is another one of those things that you have to pay attention to this is the uh, this is the, float. This is the uh, float needle and it's just a little tiny spring and that's it it's just a little tiny spring and it kind of just like hangs on there and that's it so we'll just go ahead and uh, remove that out of there and that's it. It just it just kind of hangs there by that little spring, like a Christmas ornament hanging on a tree. And uh, you can go ahead and uh, throw this away. You don't need the spring or the uh, float needle. The kit comes with a brand new one. And this is the float, and it basically just uh, you know sits in there and float in the floats in the fuel and just shuts off uh, the fuel flow when the bowl is full. Um, some people will reuse these and they'll weigh them. You know, the book says to weigh them and, you know, if they're under a certain weight, you can go ahead and reuse them and stuff. But these things are like $6. It, uh, I picked mine up with the kit, but, you know, they're, they're $6. They're really cheap and, you know, what the hey, just go ahead and replace it. We'll continue. We're going to... Uh, disassemble some more. If uh, you could look down inside this thing you can see a couple of uh, parts we're going to take out. We're going to take out the uh, jets for the primary and uh, those are located here. There's two of the metering rods sit down inside there and we're going to take out the uh, seat for the uh, needle for the uh, float needle and we're also going to take this screw out right here. This is actually a plug and there's a check ball down inside there and uh, you want to get that ball out. Um, usually 99.9% .9 of the time they'll just fall right out. Sometimes they will not so you're going to have to soak it a bit and you can actually take uh, an air an air gun uh, hooked to your air compressor uh, with a, you know, a rubber tip. You can blow right down into this hole here and that will usually cause that check ball just to blow right out of there bowl here and that will usually cause that check ball just to blow right out of there um, but you can see the passage that it, it runs right down to and there's actually one on this side too right here um, these holes right here it'll blow that check ball right out of there something like that so we're gonna go ahead and remove these and uh, I just use a flathead screwdriver and I use a real uh, a big one for this one um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these, and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is that plug for the check ball, and it looks pretty clean here. That's all that is, so we'll go ahead and give that a soak. And these are our jets for the primary. You don't want to remove any, you don't want to stick anything in there. You don't want to remove any material or make the hole bigger because you'll, you'll mess it up. So we'll go ahead and loosen these. And this one's stubborn because I'm on camera. 
There we go. Okay. And we'll get these out of the way here. And this is the jet right here. Uh, this is what messes everything up if, if uh, these things get clogged and, and get debris in them. Okay, like I said, these are your jets. And you just want to make sure that they're clean. And you can see this one uh, is actually not too bad. Um, I've seen these where they're totally clogged shut. And like I said, you never want to stick anything down in there or dig anything out of there because you actually remove material and you'll you'll mess up the uh, jets for for this way it goes. And you just don't want to mess it up. So never dig anything in there, scratch anything in there. And uh, like I said, this one's pretty clean; doesn't look too bad. So we'll go ahead and uh, give these a soak. Okay, and we'll remove the. Uh float needle seat and you can actually disregard this part um, the rebuild kit comes with a new one so we won't bother doing anything with it and you will notice that there is a gasket down there for it and we'll just leave that in there and once we get it soaking that'll, that'll uh, come right out now I think you can see down in there there's a little reflection but there's where that check ball lies so let's see if we can get it out of there just go ahead and pick your carb up and and there it is it fell right out it's really clean I think this carb has been rebuilt at some time so everything's pretty clean there is some sediment at the bottom of the bowl but um, your rebuild kit comes with another one of these so don't worry if it goes flying um, some people will take this ball they'll put it down inside that hole, they'll take a small punch and they'll hit it with a hammer and that will um, reform the seat for the check ball but I'm not going to do this, this thing looks pretty clean and uh, we'll just let it go um, another thing that fell out when I turned it upside down that I forgot to mention is this little arm here for controlling your choke and that's going to fall out as well it goes down in in this area right here and then that arm will go through the carburetor and this this will sit on it you can see that it's it's keyed so with uh, but that's how how that works and, and getting these things there's a getting these things back is, is a bugger you gotta hold this in the right position get that to go through the carb and line up and then you have to have your rod on there as well so I'll you know I'll show you how that goes back together but this you're not gonna soak and this work you know what the hay we'll go ahead and soak it okay this is just a close-up um, you can actually see that there's sediment down in the bowl here down inside the carb so there are some things this boat's got a, air, or a fuel water separator it has a canister type fuel filter plus it has the other fuel filter and you can see the stuff still gets in here um, and this one's pretty clean to, to a lot of them that I've seen but as you can see you know stuff still does get in here and mess stuff up Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the carb upside down.